It's too windy for you to hear me, so I'm doing it here inside the car. <laughs> Jeremiah 51.7 likens Babylon to a golden cup intoxicating the nations. Revelation 17.4 pictures Babylon as a woman dressed in scarlet, riding a beast with blasphemous names, and her hand is a golden cup filled with abomination. So check this out. Roman Catholic theologians wanted to use the historical critical method, which was developed in liberal Protestantism, but they couldn't do it unless they had the Pope's authority. So Pope Pius XII in 1943 gave them that in an authoritative document that he released, so then they could play with the historical critical method. The HC approach is built on skepticism, and so people who use it judge what is and isn't valid. In the 1960s, this method mixed with Marxism became the basis for liberation theology. Liberation theology provides the main foundation, the ideological core that underlies feminist theology and then later gay theology.